Hi everyone. HMS Mordaunt was a 46 gun ship of the line of the Royal Navy, launched at Deptford in 1681 and in active service during the Nine Years' War with France. Plans for the vessel's construction were developed in the late 1670s by a private syndicate headed by Charles Mordaunt, 3rd Earl of Peterborough, with the publicized intention that she be used solely as a merchantman. A contract for her construction was issued in 1680 to William Castle, a commercial shipwright at Deptford, initially on behalf of the syndicate and then solely in the name of Charles Mordaunt. Castle set to work immediately, and construction proceeded apace. As built, the new ship was 122 feet 6 in long with a 101 feet 9 in keel, a beam of 32 feet 4.5 inch and a hold depth of 13 feet 0 inches. She was a large vessel, measuring 567 and 26 94 tons burthen. Castle included a total of 56 gun ports in Mordaunt's design but several were too constrained by internal fittings to house a gun, and in practice the vessel was not capable of carrying more than 48 cannons. William Castle died in 1681 and construction was completed by his son, William Castle the Younger. The vessel's stern featured a carved crest displaying the Mordaunt family coat of arms, a chevron beneath three stars. Even with 48 guns, Mordaunt would be very heavily armed for a merchant craft, and there were public rumors that she was actually intended as a private warship. In early 1681 Spain's ambassador to England wrote to Admiralty expressing his fear that the vessel would be sold to the elector of Brandenburg, who was assembling a fleet to prey on Spanish shipping. Admiralty responded by issuing a warrant on 30 June 1681 for the seizing of the vessel, accompanied by a request that Mordaunt attend the Admiralty Court to explain his intentions in having her constructed. In advance of the hearing, Admiralty itself advised the court that Mordaunt was built frigate fashion and is as good a ship as His Majesty's ship Tiger. Charles Mordaunt appeared before the court in July to attest that the vessel was indeed a merchantman, and that the heavy armament was simply to enable her to sail without convoy protection. The court resolved to return the vessel to Mordaunt but obliged him to guarantee that she would not be used for military purposes. The vessel was completed in 1681, and a crew of 200 were hired and brought aboard. Problems then arose with their pay with the ship's company lodging a civil action for non-payment of wages in 1682. Admiralty again seized the vessel while this claim was being heard, but simultaneously entered negotiations for her purchase. The sale was completed on 7 October 1682 with the vessel entering Navy service as HMS Mordaunt. Her crew were offered a transfer into naval service to accompany their ship, and most agreed, the civil claim was settled in their favor in May 1683 but the outstanding wages were never subsequently paid. The newly purchased vessel was sailed to Deptford Dockyard in late 1682, for fitting out as a Royal Navy ship of the line. She remained at Deptford throughout 1683, finally being commissioned into active service on 20 May 1684 under the command of Captain Henry Killigrew. The War of the Reunions had broken out in Europe, but Britain was at least temporarily at peace and Mordaunt was sent to cruise along the coastline of West Africa as protection for Britain's regional British merchant and slave trading interests. She returned to England in 1685, where she remained for the next two years. Killigrew left the vessel in 1687, with command transferring to Captain John Ashby. Her first listed commander is Captain Henry Killigrew who took her off the west coast of Africa. In 1685 she returned to Britain and was involved in the suppression of the Argyle Uprising later that year in which she captured the Sophia as her crew were awarded a share of the £5,000 prize paid by the English government in August 1685. On 4 October 1689 near the Scilly Isles, under Captain John Tyrrell, together with HMS Foresight and HMS Lively Prize, 
she was involved in an attack on twelve French men of war, in which all British ships were damaged and the lively prize was captured. In April 1690 the Mordaunt crossed the Atlantic and sailed to the West Indies. In January 1692 she joined HMS Norwich and HMS Diamond in Barbados under overall command of Commodore Alfren. The ships were sent to search for the French squadron somewhere around Barbados. Unsuccessful they returned to Carlisle Bay on 5 February and on 17 February sailed to Jamaica. On the 22nd of February 1692 now under Captain Henry Bottler, she was involved in a battle with Norwich and Diamond again but additionally joined by HMS Mary and HMS Antelope. In which they engaged 18 French ships including Le Vermandois, Le Valiant, and La Légère, off the island of Desired. Mordaunt was damaged in the attack and Ralph Wren wounded, dying a few days later. In June 1692 she went to Jamaica where the HMS Swan had been wrecked so her crew was split between Mordaunt and HMS Guernsey. In April 1693 she unsuccessfully pursued French privateers. Later in the same month she returned from Porto Bello with 100,000 pieces of eight from the Asianto. In May 1693 the Council of Jamaica ordered the careening of the Mordaunt. At this stage she was under command of Captain Francis Maynard and a debate began as to whether or not she be allowed to return to England. She was obliged to stay in Jamaica and in July was sent to harass the French around Hispaniola, returning to Jamaica in October. On her final mission she was escorting a convoy when she was struck by a storm off the coast of Cuba. She sank with all hands, around 230 men, including Captain Maynard on 21 November 1693. Thanks for watching.